All right, what's up, guys? We're gonna make a uh, quick video on using an alternate furnace besides Edville's. Uh, this one's extremely stable using Rune Light. Uh, first of all, you want to get your marked tiles in place. You only need these two, or you can do these two, it doesn't matter. Um, set up your map starting from here and do one simple click up to this room right here. Don't try to click in the furnace because what's going to end up happening is that you're going to walk outside of it. Is that if you have roofs disabled, it's not really a big deal, but it's more accurate if you just run into this room. And then once you run into here, stop your mapping. This is all you need. And then for your world item, don't focus on the door. Uh, this facing north is plenty fine. You can actually calibrate this way but raising it up just a little bit helps. So you'll set your ward item for this. It'll all be one color. And then for your bank, you'll be using the tiles that you marked. As you can see, it's clearly seen right here. Uh, when you calibrate, you don't have to try to click on the green. Uh, all Genesis does is looking for this, so you can click inside of it, no, anywhere inside of it, and it'll bank. So, when you start, you'll be having your full inventory. You can keep the balls in your inventory or you can bank them. It's easier just to keep them in your inventory. Starting here, if you were to begin your calibration, I already did the calibration. I'm trying to save some time here. Uh, start here, and you begin your calibration. A click here. You'll run left click the furnace, furnace pops up. I have one set from uh, the quantity for one, just so I was trying to save some time. But it would say all for you, and then click one, and it would make one. And then when you run to the bank, once your inventory is done, just click, use that symbol right here, the bank symbol, and run down here. Now, the good thing about this part is a full inventory. I, can't, I think it takes like a minute 30 or something like that your run energy would be back up to full by the time your inventory is done you click the bank symbol here and it puts you in clear view of this so then you just open it withdraw all your cannonballs close run back to the building and continue doing five to ten of these would be plenty left click the furnace one on your keypad number pad when the inventory is done, run back down here. Now the reason why I did one quantity is because it takes so long. I don't want to make a 15, 20 minute long video on this. You come back here, you bank, withdraw, close, and continue. When you're done, it'll look like this. So you have your steel bar, right clicks the steel bar, withdraws all, Closes the bank, your run, which your run comes up to here. Then here's a furnace, so you'll you'll click the furnace. Number pad for one will be your make all. When it's done, runs back to the bank and looks for this. Right clicks the bank, opens it, and then continues back to what this says. Uh, as you can see from my inventory, I've had it running for quite a while. It's extremely stable. This furnace works for gold, um, silver, anything you need a furnace for, it would work very well. If you don't have access to Shiloh Village, which is another alternative, this right here works great. Um, if you wanted to edit, and I'll show you the reason why we don't have anything else worked into the world item, if I bring it up. You can edit your world item when it's already created. So I'll bring this over here. Perfect outlining of it. There's the colors in it. If I were to try and add more items to it, it doesn't help in any way. And then you get that if you try to do the coloring because all the coloring is the same. This would still work. Um, this would not. 
so it's easier. Oh, shit, I just saved it, too. I'll change that later. Oh, yep, I saved it, so it's going to not work now, which is fine. So that's how you set up a simple furnace smelting bot. Um, this, like I said, this was another alternative to Shiloh Village. If not, it might be more stable than Shiloh Village. Now, the modules that I have or the plugins that I have are Entity Hider, which you can't see me or other players. Uh, sometimes there's other people using the furnace here. So it doesn't show them, it hides them. So less likely to get a broken calibration or having short run cal calibrations. So hopefully this video helped you guys out for the whole smelting thing. I know this was a requested one. Um, so I think I pretty much covered everything I needed to for something simple like this. And uh, hope it helped you guys out.